Alfonso Marquez. Do you recognize the name? This is a story of a professional who thanks his parents for the sacrifice and for teaching him a nunca rendirse, to never give up. When he was seven years old living in Zacatecas, Marcus's family decided to immigrate to Southern California. Alfonso had two pairs of pants, three t-shirts, and a jacket when the coyote woke up his family in the middle of the night at the mercy of the pitch black skies. Little did he know that the treacherous journey would lead him to becoming the first and only Mexican-born umpire in Major League Baseball. Check out this amazing story of Alfonso Marquez. My dad was a gardener. When he, when he got here, he, he was a landscaper. The, his whole time here, he was a landscaper. And he would say, after two weeks, you come on with me and you're going to work. And I would hate it and hate it because, you know, five in the morning, hey, let's go. And I'd be out there mowing lawns and doing whatever in the heat of the summer. And he would always say, hey, nothing's ever going to be given, given to you. Now, it's okay to dream. It's okay to want. So work for it and go get it. You know, when I was 16, 17, starting to drive, and, and unfortunately he couldn't afford to buy us a car. But he always said, look, someday, someday with hard work, you will be able to buy yourself whatever you want. And so I thank him today. And, you know, he's, he's unfortunately he couldn't be here, but he's watching from Zacatecas. And, and I thank him every chance I get. My dream since I was 16, 17, was I just wanted to umpire just in a big league stadium. That was the dream. We'd drive by Anaheim Stadium and I'd tell my parents, I want to I wanna work there one day. I want to work there one day. So never did it cross my mind that, that I would actually be the first and only Mexican-born umpire in the history of baseball. I don't walk out on the field now just for me and mine, for my family, for, for our children, for my parents, you know what I mean? Now I'm walking out there for a country. I looked up to, to Angel, Angel Hernandez uh, because they're the, they're the ones that, trend, that set the trend for, for, for Hispanos, for Latinos. And you know what? Thank God that today there is a kid from the Dominican. There is two guys now from Venezuela that are full-time major league umpires. There's a kid, Nestor Ceja, who actually lives in the area, who is right now, as we speak, working the Arizona Fall League. He was born in Michoacan. But I have to think that at some point someone said, you know what, if, if he did it, then it's possible. Because I came here as an illegal. Rubén Castro knocked on the door one time in LA. He was a reporter. And he said, can I talk to you for a minute? And I said, yeah, sure. I'm thinking he wants to talk about maybe an ejection or something that happened. He goes, you realize you're the only Mexican? And I'm like, no. He goes, oh, you are. 